I'm Jeff at Marvel's Kids Museum. Welcome to Build It. Today we're going to make a rain gauge. What is a rain gauge? A rain gauge is a device that measures how much rain falls from the sky. Why would you want to know how much rain is falling? You might need to know if it's time to water your garden. You might be worried about a risk of flooding. It's good to know how much rain comes down. Meteorologists use rain gauges and other devices to predict the future weather. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own. Let's get started. All you'll need for today's activity are a bottle, a ruler, some tape, a marker, and something to cut with. The rain gauge shows you how many inches of rain have filled your bottle. As rain falls from the sky, it collects in the bottle, and the tape on the side shows you how much rain fell that day. In order to start building your own, the first thing you'll need is a bottle. I found a few different bottles in the recycle bin outside, but some of these work better than others. You'll notice that these aren't straight on the sides. They have different shapes, and this one has kind of a pinch in the middle. This is the best kind of bottle because the sides are perfectly straight, so the opening where the rain goes in is the same size as the area where the rain collects. We're going to cut the top off our bottle. I'm going to use a box cutter, but you can talk to an adult about what's safest for you. Here we go! The next step will be to make the tape ruler for the side of our bottle. I'm going to use a ruler and some colorful masking tape I have. I'm just going to stick this to the table to hold it still. I'm going to mark mine every one inch, but you can put more marks in between if you want to measure the rain with more detail. And then we're going to number them from zero going up. Now that our tape's ready, we can attach it to the rain gauge. So if you look at the bottle, you'll notice that the straight part doesn't go all the way to the bottom. There's a bit where it's crumpled in. So that part there where it starts to change shape, that's where the zero is going to go. So we'll just set the tape on there, and that'll be the zero point. And we'll try to get it straight up and down. And this is what it should look like at the end. To make sure our rain gauge doesn't fall over, and to make sure that we start counting at zero, we're going to add a little sand to the bottom. So we're just going to fill it up until we get to the zero line that we made on the tape. I use sand, but you can use whatever you have available. Water, rocks, even slime! The final step is to take the top of the bottle that we removed earlier. Don't forget to take off the cap and insert it into the top of our rain gauge. This will help funnel the water in and also prevent evaporation. Now we're ready to test out our rain gauge. According to our rain gauge, how much rain just fell? That's right, two inches! Thanks for building with us today! Building your own rain gauge is your first step to becoming a young meteorologist. Take a picture of what you built and send it to us on social media at Marvel's Kid Museum. Bye bye See you next time!